so the object is to get this basin down to grade we've got a lot of obstacles below but let's see what goes on this is exactly the same way that we dig a sump basin in the backyard when it is flooded we put we go ahead and put a pump down into that hole and let it pull the sand and debris and the water while we work usually <laughs> if you take a look at this picture I get so many questions in the comments box whenever we install a backyard sump pump. People ask, how do you dig when the groundwater is so high? Well, this is a great example of that. Can you see? The pump keeps up with everything. This is a broken water line you know, from the pool, and it's keeping up from all of that. We're able to make a repair almost underwater, but enough that we can get there. Your pump will do the trick. This is an inch and a half water line. A lot of water's coming out of here. It's actually a return from the pool and it's just draining the pool. But that pump kind of keeps up with it. Yeah, you got to be a little bit underwater. The pump's not perfect, but look at how I'm able to make that repair. It's the same way in the backyard when you have so much groundwater, you sink one shovel down and you pull out a shovel, but two shovels fall in and your hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You've got to put the pump down there temporarily and pump that water at the same time. Using the sump pump at the same time that we're digging allows us to do this. Can you see that? We've got the whole thing installed. The secret is to go ahead and perforate your basin so that water can come in and push it down. After you've got this cleared, push it down into the bottom of that hole and let it fill up with water and it will stay there. Use your sump pump, put it down in the hole that you're digging and let that pump pull the sand and debris while you're digging and you'll be able to install your sump basin. Another very commented question is, where do you find these basins? These basins are only available at Lowe's. They are not at Home Depot. And you have to, you might have to try two different Lowe's because they sell out quick. It's got to be the most commented question is, how do you dig with the groundwater? You know, I just showed you, and you need to just put the pump down there and let it run while you're working. The real secret is don't panic. You can do this. I promise you can do this. And you can truly save thousands of dollars over calling a company out to do the same procedure. Put that sump pump down in the pit that you're digging and let it pump the sand and debris. It will work, I promise. I know I'm showing you two different videos, but they're actually the same. We're using the sump pump, putting it down in the pit so that we can actually continue to work. But I'm just trying to answer some of the comments, questions about how do you dig with groundwater? It's so simple. Use your sump pump. If you're using PVC or if you're using corrugated, it doesn't really matter. PVC is great, but so is corrugated. You can see how this job sets up and came straight into the sump pump. The sump pump lifts it up and sends it to your discharge. So I apologize that I haven't made a lot of videos and they're getting shorter here because we're running out of time. <laughs> It rains here every day and it rains so hard, you know, if, if that hurricane comes this way, wow, people are going to really be underwater. <laughs> but our schedule is very full. I apologize if you don't hear back from me right away. Um, Chuck's working. I actually am out here also working and it's a, it's a pretty tough little dig out here. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.